three minutes is all it takes to easily capture vertical short form content from your Kickstream with OBS. And for this, we are using one simple and free plugin. It is called Atom Vertical. It's linked in the description. Download it and run the installer, except all the defaults in the installer. And once it's installed, it should look like this. You can see on the right side of my screen. If you can't see it, then click on Docs and click Vertical, click Vertical Sources, Vertical Scene Transitions, and click Vertical Scenes. Let's get it set up so that your vertical and landscape scenes are linked together like mine are, and so that you can press a simple button to clip the last few seconds seconds of your kick stream. So you want to start with your vertical scenes, press the plus button in the bottom left and add a new vertical scene. We'll start with something about gaming. So I'll just name this gaming and I'll press OK. So this blank vertical canvas is what your short form vertical viewers are going to see on TikTok, YouTube shorts, wherever you're going to post this. So let's do a simple setup. Let's do camera and gameplay beneath it. To do that, under the sources, I'm gonna press the plus button. We'll first start with the camera, which is video capture device. And the great thing is, it's already got all of the sources that you've got on your Kickstream. So I'm just gonna click on Logitech Stream Cam. And as you can see, my Logitech Stream Cam is now in two places. Now, obviously I'm using a green screen, so I'm actually gonna add in my background as well. And again, because I've already got it on my landscape stream, it is just webcam background here. Of course, it's now on top of my camera. So under the vertical sources, I'm gonna drag the webcam background beneath myself. And there we go, now it's looking better. Now, finally, of course, let's add in the gameplay. I'll press the plus button again. I'm gonna use the display capture. Where is it? There it is, because it's the easiest one. Here's my gameplay and we just position it wherever you want. If you want to center it perfectly, right click, transform, center horizontally. At this point, it's worth noticing that it's sharing this audio mixer here, which means we don't actually have to add any audio sources like input capture or output capture. So the magic of Atom is this backtrack button here. So let's make sure this is set up properly by clicking the settings icon on Atom. What Backtrack is doing, it's gonna clip the last X amount of seconds that has just happened in your stream. So I've got mine set to 60. So I can just press a button on my keyboard, mine set to Alt R, and it will save a recording of the last 60 seconds of my live stream, and it's already in vertical. So like I say, set yourself a hotkey, click a browsing destination wherever your video is being saved to, and of course, make sure that Backtrack runs while streaming or recording. One final hack, I said we're gonna link them like mine are linked together here. To do that, all you gotta do, right click the vertical scene, link scenes, and then check the one you wanna link it to. Now mine are all linked, just chatting matches that, starting matches that, and so on. After subscribing, watch this video to learn about how to multi-stream to different platforms.